My true Yarns, I stand before you armed with truth. For too long, our country was stolen by politicians. But you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own brilliant scientists. The most effective treatment for cancer the world has ever seen. Grown within our precious tobacco. Modified with the purest fertilizer, Viviro is the key to rebuild paradise. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy, but to do what's right. And so, with renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island, chosen to produce enough Viviro to heal the world and save our country. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Even my own son, Diego, will be drafted tomorrow. Hey, Danny. And like a true Yaran, he Turn will that shit off. with a smile on his face. Precisamente. Exactly what Castillo wants. Enough politics, Lita. You think the draft is only taking true Yarans? It's the outcasts, the poor, orphans like us. He's bringing slavery back from the dead. In Yara, you can't run from this. Hang on. You ditched us. Ran off to the jungle with a bunch of guerrillas. Libertad. Hmm? And you're back here to recruit for Clara Garcia's local crusade? Come on, this is our big goodbye. Danny, fucking say something. Got my name wrong. Danny, you could help Libertad. You're trained. Would have been career military if you weren't such a fuck up. <laughs> Just come with us, Lita. Aye. You never fucking listen, Danny. Hey, time to go. Boss waiting. Drinks in Mexico. Dinner in Miami. Coño! Fucking blackout. Too big for a blackout. Fucking packet? Oh yeah! What's going on? Draftees must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. What the fuck? Draftees must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. No! Draftees must report for duty. get down! Fuck Castillo! Alejo! No, no. Raptis must report for duty. You will join Danny, us to reveal paradise. We have to go. Now! Check the rooftop the must report You're coming. You will join us to reveal paradise. Promise me, Lita. See. Come on, Danny. We have to get to the port. Okay, Danny. You will join us to rebuild Paradise. When we get to Miami. We'll say goodbye to Alejo. I promise. Raptis must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild Paradise. Oh, 
or we will bust it down. It's not going to wait for us.
against the wall for processing. Look! Fuck are the police? They're just letting the military kill us. La noche de la muerte. Over there! Run! with baseball cards. Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through. Oh, yeah. Mierda! Marco, always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? Give up his ticket. For his family. Bullshit! Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get on the box and go! Get us on! Don't worry about it, Chimaco. Here. That's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the Yankees. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lita. We survive. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? Please, no, no, this is a future boat. You mean, no, no! <laughs> was El Presidente. Me papa loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this, and we would catch the fish, and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mijo. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. Ha! <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. You have poisoned Yara, you have poisoned your soul! I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. 13 years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. What the hell just happened? I think we're fucked.
Lita. I can't feel my legs. Fuck. This is all my fault. My phone. Yeah, forget it, Lita. My phone. This is the beach, Tani. It's fucking fate. What? She's hiding here. Clara. Libertad. Julio. Fuck. Julio. It's all here. Take my phone. Follow the code like when we were kids. Stop, Elita. Just wait. I'll find help. No. You give her this. Clara will help you. Don't you get it? You're the lucky one, Danny. You're the lucky one. So many dead. Gone. I should look for supplies and get the fuck out of here. I really should check the beach for supplies. should check the beach for weapons and supplies. How the fuck is he still working? The markings must be the call Lita was talking about.
Lo siento. Your family will probably never know what happened to you. Shit. Who's shooting? Better stay quiet. This has to be the way. I can smell it on your clothes. Your sweat. It's the stink of a traitor. All rotten on the inside. How did I know you were scavenging for Libertad? I smelled it on you. That's why you died. Now, I'm going to call this in. You are going to be slowly eaten, bit by bit, by the birds and the crabs. You're just meat to them. This is Bravo 5. We're at the beach. Shot a Libertad cockroach. Any sign of Clara Garcia or Juan Cortez? I'm not that lucky. I want a platoon to seal this area off. I'm not the only one looking for Clara. What's this? Could be useful. Get to Libertad, steal a boat, sell the fuck out of Yara. Easy. And now I'm talking to myself. Perfecto. Oh, fuck. Bad time to be a guerrilla. Been a while since I used one of these. A dozen one visitors. I'm gonna show your face before you shoot me. I'm Danny, a friend of Lita. Silencio. You are the only survivor? Answer me. I said, are you the only survivor? Si. Lucky. 
need to know the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here. That's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. <laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay. A few days. Libertas no charity, hermano. Lita said you would help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. Come mierda! You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny? Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Quoting Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Albizu. Gonna save Yara with library cards? I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. A Yara free of Castillos. Simple. Simple? Castillos got what? 300,000 troops? I count six burnt out guerrillas and you with a bullet to the leg. You don't believe me? I'll show you. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. Hit a Viviro tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. But Castillo's forces were waiting. Got us down from 60 to 6. You need to get back to your base. Yes, but this island is surrounded by a blockade. We don't have boats, we don't have much gear. And we are not leaving until that Viviro plantation goes up in smoke. But we are guerrillas. We know this land inside out. You're already familiar with our guerrilla paths. They were built by the legends in 67. They're spread like a web across all of Yara. Now, they're ours. Guerrilla paths are good to ambush soldados or to hide if the army is on your back. They have caches that will help you survive. And all this is legit? This map is old as hell. Made for turistas, yeah, it's out of date, but you got the regions, municipalities, and landmarks of Yara. You'll get used to it. Now I need to call in some favors with the locals to get us a boat, and you need to go find me Juan Cortez. Who? Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? You tell it to them. I'll give you food, a bed, even a goddamn boat to sail to the Yankees. But it's gonna cost you bullets and blood. You can shoot, so shoot. Settle in, and let me know when you want to pay your rent. Ready to pay your rent? We need to talk. I attacked this archipelago with a man named Juan Cortez. He helped me build Libertad from the dirt. Juan's a spy master from the pre-Castillo days. Can build an ICBM from a goddamn ice cube tray. Pulled off ops for Espinosa, the KGB, then flipped to the CIA and Mossad for fun. Juan is my mentor. He's also unstable and an alcoholic. When shit went south, he was so embarrassed, he walked straight out of my camp. 
Castillo's soldados would love nothing more than to capture a double agent like Cortez. I need him back with Libertad, Danny. He's done with us, but you're a fresh face. Take this earpiece. Juan made them for comms, then head to the village. If I were you, I would check the bar first. Get down to that village and bring me Cortez. I hope for your sake he's sober. the earpiece. Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. This spy shit works, Clara. I'll give you that. Bien. Keep your gun holstered if you want to stay out of trouble, especially in areas with a lot of soldados. Si. I got it. A smart guerrilla picks their battles. Suerte. for a man named Juan Cortez. I don't know the name. What does he look like? Older, wears a fedora, dresses like a tourist, a never Sorry, stops fucking talking. Shock Castillo, Sorry, we won't stand for his lies. I want the Libertad Terrorista Clara Garcia. Papers, I don't have the money for you. Papers, that's a serious offense. Disculpa, I must have left them at home. I'm going to have to report you. No, por favor, señor. There must be something I can do. I can't feed my family if I can't fish. Not my problem. Your boat, or I report you. <sighs> I'm on your side, Guerrilla. Clara Garcia. I am El Presidente. You elected me to lead Yara. Our people chose order, discipline, and peace. No one chose Libertad. No one chose chaos. Huh? 
Hey. Hey. Abre esa cabrona puerta. That looks like a Juan. Today we drink in the worst fucking cantina in Yara. Or is it Colombia? Kirat, Chechnya. Leave the bottle. Let's work for you. Another. Guapo, you listen. Rule 16. A guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez. What do you think gave it away, Wapo? This isn't a fucking zoo, abuelo. Clara sent me to find you. See, si. I learned long ago never to doubt her. You will too. Hey, I know you. Don't think so. Yeah, I know you. It's like I'm looking at a mirror, Wapo. What are you talking about? Those eyes, guerrilla. You got a taste. You convince yourself you're a hero, but you wake up a junkie, just like Juan Cortez. This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can't whistle. You fucking rat. You were more dead anyway. The fuck? See, Wapo is in love with you. And I ruined the only copy of my book. Bueno, mis socios, vámonos. Once again, we have outstayed our welcome. Put that down. I'm warning you. Give it up, Juan Cortez. you old man Wapo wants to be your friend or maybe he just needs to take a dump only one way to find out Vamos. come on let's get the fuck out of here Ooh, Guapo. We're fucking around, let's go. I can tell you handled a gun before. What's your name? Danny. 
So Clara says you're a legend. Ex-KGB, ex-CIA. <laughs> I got more fucking exes than your porn search history. Some men, they break eggs for breakfast. But Juan Cortez, he breaks fucking countries. Hold up. New plan, Danny. Vamos. The plan is to go back to Clara's camp. Where the hell are we going now? See that smoke? That means the watchtower just got a supply drop with some of the rarest materials you'll find in Yara. And you are going to go get it. Now you want me to steal shit for you? Gunpowder and Supremo Bond. The Cerveza and Chaser of Resolver. I'm gonna teach you to make shit for weapons. Because making shit for weapons is cool. And it's rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. You coming with me? Fuck no. You got Huapo. You can tear shit up with him. But if you want to be sneaky, leave him behind. That cutie loves to make a mess. At least you're here to help Huapo. Weapon or not, the military will shoot me on sight here. Put that thing back in the swamp where it belongs. What the hell are you going to do with this one? Guess this could be useful. More shit for one. This is more like it. Found all your shit, Juan. Good work, Danny. Now hurry up already. We need to get back to Clara's camp. That's what I've been saying. Okay, we got more than enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. So what's with all this junk? You building something? Patience, Danny. Rule number eight. A guerrilla knows how to wait, like a spider or a serial killer. So, how did you get to this godforsaken hellhole? I was on a refugee ship. We didn't get far. Yeah, yeah. And I came here on a chopper in our baby invasion of Santuario. Shot straight out of the goddamn sky. No, I mean, what's your story? The orphanage in Esperanza. Then the military. I'm no guerrilla, just helping Clara out until she gets me off this island. Rule 20. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. Enough with that shit. Too late. The horse is out of the barn, and now the fucking cocaine is all over the kids, Danny. There is no other option. America is my option. <laughs> of course. And you think Americans want your Yaran blood? The American dream is for Americans, Danny. You don't quit, do you? Nope. Wapo hates quitters. Go on, you. If you two are so close, why is he following me? Wapo goes with those who need him most. Like those therapy dogs in your precious America. You can trust Wapo with your life. Yeah. Not sure I'm there yet. You got time. You said your chopper was shot down in the invasion. 
Can you fix it? So I can fly you to the Yankees? No, that's... It's grounded. But I'm working on it. Patience, Danny. Now it's time for Juan Cortez to show you how to make something out of nothing. Did I ever tell you rule number nine? <sighs> you just did. Always use the right tool for the right job. Words to live by. Okay. How many others? The legend returns. The legend needs to piss, Hefa. Who's she? She was a journalist who dared call Anton Fascista. Now she's an outcast, a slave for his paradise. And she's not the only one, Danny. Time you learn about Resolver, Danny. When I was six, I rigged my first bike with the chainsaw motor. The blockade means I have to Resolver every day, Juan. Nah, that's survival. For a guerrilla, Resolver isn't just making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos with everything you got. Keep talking. A guerrilla's <laughs> best weapon is the workbench. Go ahead, Danny. Get cozy with it. Hola. Hola. What's this new guerrilla story? I don't... Let's take a crack at those weapons. No offense, but your battle rifle is a little basic. Let's fix that. Rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. In this case, it's gunpowder and scraps. Sometimes I lie awake at night asking myself, Juan, how can you kill me? Excellent, Danny. Now you can pop enemy flesh like a ripe watermelon. Okay, let's look at your other rifle. Let's say your target remembered to wear their helmet and vest today. You're gonna need some armor-piercing rounds. These rounds fly straight and nice. Now you got your own supply of high-velocity war crimes. Let's look at your attachments. Time to make your very first suppressor. This will turn a bang into a bang. See how easy that was? Now you can silently headshot your enemies like a real asshole. The workbench is your friend, Danny. A friend with benefits. Damn, Damn. Me. making shit is addictive. With that workbench, you can build a new Yara. 